Hello, we are going to simulate a loop antenna for 150 MHz. We start with CAD FICO, create a new model. Right click under variables, add variable. And then we start with minimum frequency, 100 megahertz, F max, maximum frequency is supposed to be 200 megahertz. Our loop is going to be modeled as with a, a, a wire radius of one millimeter, some common wire, and our actual loop radius is supposed to be to, ha uh, to have its length equals to the wavelength of 150 megahertz. That means um, it's C speed of light over 2 times pi times 150 megahertz. Add. That's it. Maximum, minimum, radius, everything is set. Now we move to construct, elliptic arc. Elliptic arc. Here we just say our loop is radius, it's a circle, as you can see here. If you have made something like this, it's a, an elliptical, but for our case, it's a perfect circle create. You, you come here under wire, right click, properties, we say that this has a radius of wire radius, one millimeter, PC. We come here and we create a wire port, or we keep it here, and we come in source load, select wire port, create. Because of the symmetry, it doesn't matter where you place around this plate, uh, around the, the length of the circle, doesn't matter. Voltage source, so this connector here is going to be attached to a signal source, create. Frequency, we are covering the range of F min to F max, 11 points. We select, we request the near field. Here we keep U at zero, and here we have minus two meters, minus two meters, two meters, two meters. So this is the kind of a plane we are about to sample the near field, as you can see here. And 21 points on each direction. Create. We also ask for the far fields. Just right click on 3D pattern. Create. So just to, we can make it invisible, this sphere here. Right click, show hide, it's gone. Okay, now we can uh, move to the mesh. And you can see this create mesh has a wire segment radius of wire radius over four. You can play around to see if, the, if it makes any difference, but for the sake of simplicity, we just leave it like that. It's done. Made a mesh. We have the port. We have the voltage source. We can, we have it meshed. And now we can make the validation. Everything is green, all right. And we can click on the solver. Just save it with any name.
So it's done. The simulation is finished. We can just move to post FICO and see the results. All right, this is the, our 3D view of our loop. We can start, for instance, with the Cartesian and just drag and drop voltage source one. And you see our resonance is close, more or less close to the 150. This is the reflection coefficient in dB. It's more or less minus six dB. It's not that good, but consider that just an, a, a wire. And uh, we can also see the impedance that we have here, the real part. So you see it's a very high value, it's far from the 50. And also the imaginary. So it, sta it starts as a capacitor here for a lower frequency. It crosses the pure, pure real uh, impedance here around 150 where you have the resonance and then it goes as you move up in frequency we change the behavior to an inductor here we can see the same information in a better way in the smith chart just click on smith chart drag and drop voltage source and then you see the same information encoded in a different way here as you can see we are far, we, we cross the real part far from the center of the charge. So this is a high impedance area. Okay, next we can take a look at the near field, near field plot. We move back to the 3D. We just click here, double click on the near field, and then you see here what's the near field for 100. Just pick 150 instantaneous magnitude uh, result show arrows this is the kind of a vectors we have for the electric field and this is for the magnetic field very nice plot and we can also see no, no, a couple of other features here and we can, we can also animate the face. This is the kind of, sh this is the shape we have for the near field, considering the magnetic field, right? Um, next, we see the field here, detached from the antenna, and then here it transforms into a, electromagnetic wave. We can also see the far field here. You see both are shown superimposed. It's not nice. We just move to the near field and click on the I icon. And here we see what kind of gain we have what kind of gain we have and we can make an animation this time with frequency and we see how the gain develops as the frequency changes it's better to see in the B and here you can see the way it goes as the frequency changes um, there is a difference in FICO for the here for the gain and for the realized gain so you see the realized gain we take into account the lo the mismatch loss losses so realized gain jumps from 2 db i mean uh, 4 db if you take into account the losses the realized gain minus 2 because at 140 megahertz the antenna is as we saw before coming back to the Cartesian and to the here, the VSWR, we see that we are 
with a very high reflection loss. All right? Okay, what happens if instead of just one loop, we put another loop here, both coupled, magnetically coupled? And what happens is if uh, the second loop doesn't have a voltage source attached to it. So we can just save it, give it any name, close, and we can check back on cat fico. We just select elliptic arc one, transform, copy and translate. As you can see here, we go from the origin to, for instance, let's say one meter away. You see? So we keep the original loop, but we create another one here. Okay. The second wire, the second loop has the same properties as you can see here. You don't need to change it. We just need to attach for the second loop here. We just need to attach a wire port. As you can see here, create. And the wire port here is not attached to any voltage source. So it's just uh, that we just have here the connector. Then we can do the same thing, mesh again, okay, and we can run the FICO solver, it's finished, we move back to post FICO, so we are about to see both loops here, same thing here and now if we type in the new field it was kept from this previous session you see here it's slight different let's go to 150 let's turn off this arrows let's turn off this control lines and now we can just go to animate phase and see that now we see the coupling here showing up because we are exciting the first loop here but some coupling pops up on the second loop here if we want to have a measure uh, number to see how strong this coupling is, we can just use the more professional way coming back to CAD FICO and request the multi-part S parameters. We attach part one and part two, create, and we can run again we mesh and we run again this time we don't have fields we just have s parameters it's finished again we move to post fico and now we might be able to see under cartesian we drag and drop S parameter here. As you can see, this is the S parameter. Usually we analyze it in the B. It's the same minus seven that we had before. This is the S11 reflection loss. And you can also see the coupling. So we see that as expected, both loops are the same. We have the maximum around 160 megahertz. That's it. Thank you very much.